YouTube, what's going on? It's your boy Rob, aka DJ Bill, back with another video. These are my 2019 summer suggestions. If this is your first time checking out my channel, I thank you so much. Uh, if you watch my channel with any regularity, you know that I don't really do top tens. I just, you know, suggest fragrances that I think would be enjoyable uh, for you for the summer of, or whatever season. So, you know, I'm kind of pressed for time. So I'm going to try to get through it as quickly as possible. I'm going to just bang through a lot of scents. You know, I just went to the wall, pulled out fragrances, and I thought these would be great suggestions for you guys. So I hope you guys enjoy the video. Alright, first fragrance, Timbuktu from the house of La Artisan Perfume. Really enjoy this one. This is a pretty safe, um, all purpose fragrance. Pretty much the primary note is vetiver, but it's kind of got like this aromatic quality to it with some smoky nuances going through the fragrance. All purpose, great for summer, can't recommend it enough. And it is a fragrance that I think could be signature scent worthy. All right, so Timbuktu, La Artisan Perfume, a perfume. Another fragrance that's gonna be getting a lot of hype really, really soon is from the house of Ellie Saab. This is Vetiver number six, okay? They've got about eight or nine fragrances in this line and they're really nice. I've got about like four or five of them so far, but this Vetiver one is it's a perfect fragrance in my opinion for the summertime. It's a unisex fragrance. The Vetiver is smoothed out and it's got a kiss of sweetness uh, in the dry down that makes it interesting. Uh, so it doesn't lean too much one way or the other. I think it's really perfectly up the middle. It's an all purpose fragrance and it's a fragrance that could be signature scent worthy. The only downfall of this fragrance is it's only about like five hours longevity. You may get more, you know, but for me, I only get about five hours with this fragrance, but it's a really well done refined fragrance. And I think you would be hard pressed to get a better bang for your buck at this price point. You can cop this fragrance right now at about 60 to 65 bucks. Fragrance X, Fragrance Net, if I'm not mistaken, dot com. So Ellie Saab, Essence number no. six Vetiver from the House of Creed and the Aqua Original line. This is Vetiver Geranium. Very well done. Vetiver with the geranium note on top, smoothed out, perfectly unisex. It works for both both sexes equally well, refined, nice for warmer weather. Can't recommend it enough. If you like vetiver and you like geranium, I really suggest you check this one out. Again, it's vetiver geranium from the Aqua Original line Creed. From the House of Parfums de Marley, this is Galloway. Perfect hot weather fragrance in my opinion. Uh, if you know anything about Lalique White, this is, in my opinion, a copy of Lalique White, but done better. It's more smoothed out. It's got better performance. It's got that lemon with that kind of pepper type hit to it. Perfect for hot weather. The citrus is done really well with this fragrance. It's kind of got like that mass appeal feel to it, even though it's a niche fragrance. If you haven't checked this one out, you got to check it out. Galloway from the House of Parfums to Marley. If you want something that's a little different, check this one out. This is from the house of Trusardi. This is El Omo, okay? What's different about this fragrance is it's not only a citrus fragrance, you know, bergamot on top, but it's got this tomato leaf note that gives it some character and takes it away from the herd, so to speak. Uh, so it's not your typical summertime citrus fragrance. That tomato leaf, in my opinion, kind of has like this rocky, almost stony-like, you know, signature profile, in my opinion, to it. And it gives this fragrance a lot of character and it, it definitely sets it apart from other citrus fragrances. You can cop this one on Amazon. I wanna say the 50 mil is about like 45, 50 bucks, somewhere in that price range. It may have gone up. I haven't checked for it in a while, but this is a really nice one. And I think, you know, you'd be happy to have this one in your collection because it's, it's different enough to where it's interesting. El Omo from the House of Trusardi. I've been checking this fragrance out for a little while now and I happened to go into Marshall's 
and caught it in the clearance bin. Uh, it was like a little gift set type, you know, package where it's got the fragrance and the, the soap and like a lotion. And it's from the house of Lalik. It's homage uh, a la Om. okay? This is another interesting citrus fragrance. And the reason why um, it's interesting is because it's got this really unique opening in my opinion. I can't really put my finger on it, but it kind of has like a, almost like a honey or maybe like a melon type, you know, hit in addition to the bergamot, you know, opening that most freshy fragrances have. But this one with that honey like melon opening, it gives it a little bit of character. It's unique. It's refined. It's got a woody base. The main note is violet. And you, if you watch my channel, you know that violet isn't my favorite note, but the violet is done well. Um, certain parts of the dry down of this fragrance kind of remind you of Fahrenheit, but it just reminds you it's not like Fahrenheit. But this is a really nice fragrance. I think this fragrance is going to appeal to the collector uh, or maybe somebody that's, that just wants something that's a little bit different, a little unique. And trust me, this one is it's a little unique from the herd, like the prior fragrance. And again, I'm really surprised that more people don't talk about this fragrance in the community. This is Homage a la Om from the House of Lalique. Check this one out. <laughs> All right, I gotta do it. <sighs> fragrance one, okay, Office for Men. What do I think about this fragrance? I think it's a really nice summertime fragrance. I can't front on it. I know that Jeremy fragrance can be a polarizing character in the community, but I think this is a well done fragrance and I can't get mad at it because I know what he does and I know what he's into. He's into the crowd pleasing mainstream type fragrances, even though I know he likes more than that, but on his channel, that's what he pushes. And to me, this fragrance sits right in that box or that lane, so to speak, and it, you know, checks the boxes as far as like, you know, performance and projection and all those things he typically talks about on his station or his channel. And I can't knock it. I think it's a, it's a, it's a well done, mass appealing fragrance that I think will appeal to a lot of people. It's a groundbreaking no, because it kind of smells to me like a mixture of like Sauvage and Aventus and a few other fragrances that are out there, but it's still a well done fragrance and I have to give props where props are due. So, Office for Men, Fragrance One, Jeremy Fragrance, check this one out. From the House of Guerlain and the Aqua Allegoria line, this is Herba Fresca, okay? This is a mint fragrance. If you know anything about that line of fragrances, they seem to take one note and like almost do it to perfection. Um, not saying that this fragrance is perfection, but it's a very, very well done mint fragrance. And I think it's a great fragrance for the warmer weather. It's not too sweet. It's kind of got a dryness to it. And, uh, you know, I know a lot of folks are really big on you or someone like you. Uh, I think that line is like a, a Tot Libre D orange or something like that. I think this is better than that. And you can cop this for about 40 bucks. So, you know, it, I don't think it has the longevity of that fragrance, but I think smell wise, it's better. And I recommend this one, you know, I, I give it a big thumbs up. So Orba Fresca from Guerlain from the Aqua Allegoria line. All right, there's a fragrance in the community right now that's pretty popular. Uh, I've seen quite a few people hype it up and that is from the house of uh, Volgari Aqua Amara. I think it's a cool fragrance. I used to have it in my collection, but I sold it because uh, I felt like it was kind of harsh. And certain, you know, certain points throughout the fragrance, I felt like it was pretty harsh. So again, I got rid of it and I found another fragrance that I think is a better, a better alternative. <laughs> so it's from the house of Mancera and this is Wave Musk. To me, this captures the essence of being Oceanside, that smell that is that salty smell that's in the air when you are, you know, by the ocean. I think it just captures it perfectly. Plus it's got that same orange citrus-like opening. And I think it's just a better version, more smoothed out, no rough edges. If you haven't checked this one out, check it out. I've only seen one person do a review uh, and that's how I got up on the fragrance. Uh, and this one is just, again, a really well done, you know, fragrance in my opinion that would work great in the summertime. So check this one out. Wave Musk from the house of Mancera. Perfect summertime vacation 
fragrance at about a hundred bucks. And this is from Laboratory Perfumes, Gorsh. All right, this has got the perfect combination of like, you know, citrus with coconut, um, kind of has that suntan lotion, creamy vibe to it, uh, sitting by the pool, just good vibes, good vibrations all the way through. I don't know if this is a unisex fragrance or not, but um, you know, I got this from a UK site, I wanna say about two years back. It cost you about, I think it's, with shipping, this is about a hundred bucks, but I think it's a really well done fragrance and it performs. So if you're looking for something like that and you wanna, you know, maybe not spend that Creed money and get something that's kind of in that same vein, Gorsh Laboratory Perfumes. A great masculine fragrance, perfect for just relaxing, white tea, pair of jeans, pair of shorts, sandals, nice kicks, whatever. Whatever you want to do, just lay back, relax. This one is called Sunday Cologne from the House of Byredo. This is a nice vetiver fragrance that almost has like a little aromatic, you know, vibe to it. Kind of spicy, dry fragrance, slight barbershop feel to it. Um, this is an EDP. I think it may come in an EDT also, but I've got the EDP. And this is a really nice, simple, classic masculine fragrance that I think that you know a lot of men would really enjoy and like, and it works great in the warm weather. So can't recommend this one enough. Sunday Cologne from the House of Byredo. From the House of Ermingel Dozigna. This is Sicilian Mandarin, all right? Very nice, authentic Mandarin note with a nice peppery, you know, note also that balances the citrus out, gives it a certain dryness, perfect for warm weather, refined fragrance, only drawback uh, is that it only lasts for about five hours, but very, very well done, and I recommend this one, all right? So I could keep going on and on and on, but I'm going to cut it right there. Uh, those are my summer suggestions for 2019. I hope everyone has a safe fun and memorable summer. Uh, until next time, peace.